Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I am Hemendra. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create a REST API from Google Sheets. So we are going to be using Google Sheets as our database. Okay. Uh, so from the data that is there in the Google Sheet, we are going to create a REST API. Okay. So if those of you who don't know what REST API is and what JSON is, then I have already made uh, videos on those topics. So I will leave uh, links of those videos in the description. Okay. So please check them out. So now let's get into the Google Sheet. Okay. So this is a Google Sheet that I have created. Okay. I have some data in it. So now I just wanted to expose this data through a REST API. Okay. So uh, this is a Google workbook, right? Google uh, Excel, like Google spreadsheet, right? So spreadsheet workbook. So in this workbook, we have a lot of sheets, right? So my sheet name is user info and my workbook name is users. Now let's see how to create yeah so now let's see how to create an api out of it okay so in order to create this we just have to write code in app script okay so for that we just have to select tools and then go to the script editor right so this is the script editor so i'll just remove the existing code and let's write the let's write the code again okay so first the first step that we are going to do is so it is uh yeah so the first step that we have to do is we have to access the workbook okay for accessing the workbook i'm creating a variable that is workbook okay so if you wanted to access the workbook what you have to do is spreadsheet app dot open by url okay you wanted to open the spreadsheet by its url okay so how do you gonna get this how do you gonna get this url is you just have to copy the url from here okay before copying this what you have to do is you just have to share this with the following things okay you just have to share it with anyone or you just you just have to grant the permissions okay so just do it and then copy the url so i'm copying it and i'm pasting it over here so the next step is uh, we just have to create a variable for accessing a specific sheet in this entire workbook okay so right now my data is in a sheet called user info okay so in this way i have multiple sheets right so i just wanted to access this particular sheet okay workbook dot uh, get sheet by name okay i just wanted to get this sheet by its name okay what is the name of this sheet it is user info so user info is my sheet name now accessing the sheet is done the next step is what we have to do is whether we are creating this api for returning data or to receive the data okay so we user can do some actions right so whether user is requesting for data or whether user is sending data for us so there are two things that user can do okay whenever user is requesting further data so it is a get request okay so that get request if you wanted to create an api which serves this get request so you have to use this particular function do get so if you are creating an api for uh, handling the post request then you have to use uh, this post method okay so these are the two functions that uh, we can find in this documentation so we are going to use this function get function because we are creating an api for returning the data to the user right so the next step is we just have to create a function do get okay so this function as we can see in the documentation it is expecting us to pass an argument called e okay so here i will tell you some like uh, i'll tell you uh, about this e little later okay so as you can see e is an argument that is passed to that do get function okay it is having lot of things it is having a query string it can have a parameter so lot of things we can have in it okay so in order to read the query parameters in that api we are going to use this e okay so how do you access a query parameter from the api e dot parameter dot uh, what is your query parameter name so i am naming my query parameter as action okay so this is how you access a query parameter so after you access it you have to store it right so for that i am creating a variable and i am naming my name variable as action so i am capturing 
the query parameter into this particular variable. Now what I am going to do is, I, I'm, I will be taking a decision over here. Based on the query parameter value, I will decide which function to be returned or what kind of output to be returned to the end user. So that is the decision that I am going to take now. Okay. For that, I am writing a if condition. Okay. In order to take a decision, I am just writing a condition over here. So if this particular action is equal to equal to get users. So if this particular query parameter is containing get users, then what you have to do is then only you just have to return the users. Okay. So then return get users. So this is a function that we have. Okay. So I am returning this particular function, but as you can see, we haven't yet implemented this function. Okay. So now let's implement this function. Okay. So now I am going to create a function get users of E and then what I am going to do is, so what this function does is, this function's responsibility is to get the data from this sheet and format it into a JSON format, JSON and then return it to the user. So this is the functionality of this particular function. Okay, let's implement it in step by step. First step is to get the data from this Google, uh, Google sheet. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an array where all the rows I'm create I'm like uh, I'm storing all the rows into this particular array rows equal to so sheet dot so this particular sheet dot get range is a function that we have okay so in this sheet we have lot of cells right we have lot of cells but we want only the cells who have the content okay only the cells with content we have we want right for that we need to provide the coordinates okay for starting from second row and from first column you need to capture the data till this particular column and fifth row right so this is the these are the coordinates of the uh, cells with content right so that is what you have to provide over here get range and then dot get values okay right so you just wanted to uh, get the data from this sheet and you wanted to get the values out of that particular range okay so starting from the second index second row and starting from the first column i want data till my last row okay sheet dot get last row minus one and then sheet dot get last column okay so these functions will automatically uh, check the cells with data okay whichever is the last cell that is having content it's going to return that whichever the column that is having content so it's going to return that particular last column so this is a we can able to store or we can able to read the entire data from the google sheet next step is our next step is what we have to do is we have like first step is reading the data from the google step google sheet the next step is uh, we just have to format this data into a json okay so json string okay so for that what i am doing is i am creating a for loop and i will iterate uh, i will iterate this array i will traverse through this array and i'll frame a json object okay so that is what our next step so here we have where like this is a normal for loop like this is similar to our normal for loop i'm starting from the 0th index and my uh, index should be less than or equal to sorry or less than rows dot length and then i am incrementing the index okay so this is the normal for loop and the next step is i am creating so in this rows we have all the rows okay now i wanted to access individual row so for that i am creating another variable where row equal to rows of index okay each time the loop is incremented or each time uh, the index is incremented we'll get the next rows okay starting from the 0th row we'll get all the rows okay so now what we have to do is we just have to format the data 
for that again i am going to create a variable called record okay so the each row for each row will create a record okay so this record is an empty object for now right so uh, here what we are going to do is record of in each record we have few properties okay record of name okay record of name and then that record of age and record of mobile okay so these are the three properties we have for our data okay same properties will be having for our record as well okay so name and then name is the zeroth index of that particular row okay zeroth column of that particular row so what i am going to do is row of in row of zero we can get the name right in the row of one we can get the age okay and then in row of two we can get the mobile number row of two we can get the mobile number okay now we are successfully completed our record okay since we have lot of records what we have to do is we just have to store this record into an array okay because it is an individual record these kind of individual records we have lot of individual records right so we have to collect all these records into an array for that i am going to create one more array over here okay so i am naming this array as a data okay so data and this is an empty in the beginning it is empty so after uh, we create each and every record i will push that record into this particular data so data dot push this record okay so now this function is done okay so we have read all the data from the sheet so here we read all the data from the sheet now we have converted it into a records and we have stored it into an array now the next step is to convert this data into json and return it okay so the next step that is pending is we just have to convert this thing into json and we have to return it for that i am what i am doing is i am creating something called result so i am again creating one more variable that is result so here what i am going to do is i am going to convert this into json format so json dot stringify so i am converting this json dot stringify the data so this data array i am converting it into json now i am going to return this so return this okay so return so while returning here uh, we should be uh, like looking at the documentation for some time so you can see this function do get or do post these two functions can return these two things okay it can return a html output or text output so in our case we don't want html output so i am just returning the text output okay so content data service dot uh, what we have to return is uh, create so create text output sorry it's, it's a sorry it's not data service content service so it's a content service oh it's a content right so content service dot create a text output okay so if you want html output you can also return it as well okay so create text output dot okay what we have to return we have to return our result okay we just have to return our result and then dot uh we have to set a mime type right so we just have to set uh, our data is in which format okay we just have to let the function know that what we are returning so we are returning content service dot mime type dot so json type of data we are returning okay so we are done with the code okay we just uh like written these few steps in this function and we are returning it whenever user requested for get users we are going to this return this function okay and this function will be returning entire data in the spreadsheet okay so this is our functionality so now the next step is to save this okay we just have saved it if you wanted to run it you can run it okay so it's going to pop up for a few permissions uh, like if you are uh, writing it for the first time it's going to pop up for the permissions you just have to do it otherwise if it is uh, not popping up for the permission that dialog so you can directly deploy it okay so you just create as a new deployment and then you select it as a web app okay so you can select it as web app you can see you, you are deploying it as a 
web app and then if you want to provide some description like uh, it's for getting users data and then uh, like whoever is accessing this api so you can see anyone like who can access this api anyone can access this api so in whose context it should be executed so it is executed on my context okay so you can see i'm just deploying it okay once you deploy it you're gonna get the endpoint url so as soon as this is done you are going to get the endpoint url yeah so this is the endpoint url so just copy this url and go to the postman okay so postman is a tool for testing the rest apis okay it's a rest client so you can see the http method is a get method okay get method returns the data to us okay so i'm just pasting it in the url bar so you can see this is the thing okay so this is the endpoint url if you if you, if you hit this you are not going to get anything because you have to pass the query parameter to this particular api okay by placing a question mark okay so what is our query parameter name the query parameter name that we have configured in the code is action okay so you can see action is our query parameter name copying this action and then what value you have to pass if you pass get users then only you are going to get the data okay this is what you have written a condition okay right so action is equal to get users if the action is get users get users then as you can see you have got the output so whatever the data you can see in the excel sheet now that you can able to see right so as you can see so whatever the data you can able to see in the excel sheet now the same data you can see it in a json format okay in the postman okay you can see now you can use this api uh, in wherever you want like let's say in a mobile application or in a web application wherever you want you can use this api and you can consume this excel sheet data okay so that is it for this video uh, if you like this video please uh, do share this video and like this video and please support my channel and subscribe to my channel thank you thank you for watching